transgender one on one, because my first question is, what does the term transgender refer to? Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. no go ahead. No, go ahead. Inspired by you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, for me, transgender means transgressively gendered. That is any kind of transgression against the mores and codes that would make up gender in the culture. And that can be anything um, from having uh, feelings that well, this gender I'm in right now isn't right. It can have, uh, it can mean something like, well, I'm a woman, uh, but I don't want to be, you know, barefoot and pregnant in my husband's kitchen all the time. Um, it can mean, um, it can even mean, because in, in, in this culture, there's this big rule that says real men love women, real women love men. That's a gendered rule so anyone who's transgressing that rule someone a woman who loves women a man who loves men is transgressing a gender rule is in fact transgender transgender is just a big old umbrella term that includes just about everyone i know well i think for me i'm watching the i think for me i'm watching the term evolve and this is what happens when uh movements begin to coalesce is that language gets hammered out and forged and its meanings change quickly. I saw this happen uh, when the word gay was first raised. You know, some of my friends said, gay, I'm not happy about my situation. I'll never use that word. You know, no one will ever. And they all offer their own word. And of course, I can't remember a single one of them. Uh, so these ideas of what these umbrellas mean get hammered out in a collective way. And uh, right now, I think that there's efforts to forge the largest movement possible of people who are uh, who have crossed the boundaries of sex or gender assumptions that you're assigned at birth, whether that be uh, transsexual women and men or masculine women and feminine men or bearded women who allow their beards to grow or women weightlifters who can't use the women's bathroom because they've been pumping iron. Uh, it can mean everyone who doesn't fit that Aussie and Harriet paradigm of sex and gender. The Transgender Warriors is the book that I've had to write my entire life because every time someone said to me, I just don't get what you are. You know, well, maybe people don't have a right to beat you up or fire you or not hire you in the first place, but it's just not natural. Um, every time I sputtered, this was what I wanted to be saying, is that every single culture on this planet, every society, every continent, including the North Pole, has always had a range of gender expressions, no matter how gender was expressed. And that the oldest, oldest written and oral uh, traditions show us that sex change was once a very uh, sacred path in ancient times. And intersexuality can be found as part of the creation stories everywhere of all peoples. Um, but we haven't always been reviled and hunted and hated. That there was a beginning to that and therefore there can be an end to it. And we don't have to accept it. That bigotry, any form of bigotry or racism is just a product of human nature that we just have to accept because, well, you can't, what can you do? You know. Um, but I wrote Stonebridge Blues as a novel first with the intention of writing transgender warriors is my kind of one-two punch on, on transgender because I felt that it was one thing to reach out to people's thinking and say, look at all this information, look at all these photos, let it shake up your thinking. But if people hadn't thought about it at all, then I wanted to take them with a the novel through the life and experiences of someone who is treated completely differently based on whether they're perceived as a masculine woman, as a feminine man, as an androgynous person. Uh, and that was Stonebridge Blues. Trans liberation movement is going. Movements are predetermined in their course. There are many different currents, uh, some of who want a movement to be as large and as uh, diverse and as activist as possible. Uh, others may want to go a course of uh, more acceptance and uh, being able to just live their lives quietly um, you know, we certainly saw with the women's movement how many currents made up what gets loosely called the women's movement. And different currents can be in ascendancy and push forward like a tidal wave and then recede from, recede from weariness or in a reactionary period. So I think that 
Uh, it behooves everyone who has a trans identity under that great umbrella to be able to coalesce and talk about where we do want to go. There's certainly no end to the grievances or the discrimination uh, that we face in terms of finding issues to fight on. Uh, how large a movement we can cement, what kind of solidarity and trust we can build between communities with different identities, I think will help to determine that course. Because here I am, I am neither. I am neither a man nor a woman. There are at least three genders, if not three quadrillion genders. <laughs>